Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. This is another episode of a Kiwi's Tinker Crate. I've got my buddy Banjo here to help me out again. And uh, of course we've got another box from Kiwi Crate. And that's part of their Tinker Crate line. Now, here we go, here's the box right there. And on the front, you can see it says Walking Robot. Uh, so something that uh, I know Banjo here is definitely into is the robots and everything. Let's go ahead and open it up and find out what's inside and we'll get to building. All right, everybody. Well, here we go. This is uh, everything we had in the box. And now uh, we'll go ahead and uh, kind of start off. We'll do a little bit of a loop here. Of course, there is the Tinker Zine here. And the Tinker Zine, as always, will uh, give you some information about uh, the robot as this one is or uh, you know just the mechanics and the technology behind it and uh, so you've got some information here that will kind of give you give you kind of a premise behind you know robotics and and all the various things that kind of go along with it here of course you can see the red planet rover it says and of course that is the one they sent to Mars uh, and then you've got a handful of other things including some other activities that you could probably do so there's that. Now we've got a uh, section here. They look like a, a bunch of uh, lightweight cardboard cutouts. Pieces of them look like little robotic things, um, like a little claw there, some, uh, some kind of shock looking things with the uh, compressible sections in that area. Uh, and then we have some long straight sections, as well as, as you can see, some bigger pieces here that look like they fold up. Uh, next one we've got here are uh, some basically it just looks like the uh, kind of the screw together pieces these are probably pieces I'm sure that hold the thing together uh, and these of course are plastic uh, now what was that one you were looking at a DC motor with an attachment on the end that makes it so it can drive on both ends okay so it so that's what we are looking at to make it walk and of course it does come with a battery as well so everything is included to uh to make this work you shouldn't have to really um supply much of anything yourself except for maybe possibly some tape and of course usually a lot of times you'll end up needing some scissors we may not need those this time and then what are those foam gears with a wooden dial oh wow that's yeah that's pretty cool yeah yeah that definitely neat looking little gears there and that dowel that i'm sure those are probably what they use to uh to get it to uh, move the way they want it to. Uh, and then we've got a couple of the, looks like these are the laser etched uh, laminated wooden pieces and uh, I'm guessing these have most of the basically what it's going to use to walk on probably. So uh, we'll see how that all works as we get it put together. And then of course we have the schematics or the blueprints or the instructions whichever way you want to go with them and you can see of course a drawing of the robot right there as it's put together um, we've got some other pictures here from uh, putting it together and everything there is an actual picture of what it should look like when we're finished and then of course on the inside we have the step-by-step -step method here as to how to get all this put together and uh, get our robot walking. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started on this and uh, get to building and see how it turns out. All right, so we got some more pieces put together and uh, in part of it they have us go ahead and test this out. So we have the, uh, the little motor running and you can see here where the pieces are turning. Now, of course, make sure when you put these on that they're opposite of each other. Uh, because if they're on the same side, it would sort of be like trying to walk by picking both feet up at the same time. And that, of course, doesn't really work. Uh, so you've got that. You've got the little arms here that are kind of put together. And then you've got the legs and the feet here. Uh, and, of course, these are going to be uh, moving where they're stepping over each other. Well, there we go, guys. Check it out. We've got her walk in there. Uh, as you can see, we've got the little robot front here to... the on it that uh, that's just attached with a couple stickies there uh, make sure that's lined up pretty good in the front um, it's real tight space there between those legs and it's kind of pushing and moving on it and uh, as you can see of course the little feet tend to go around in circles to uh, to do the walking motion so it's pretty neat uh, you can see the arms of course moving right along with the feet and everything and uh, 
I think uh, I think this was pretty pretty cool little idea. It gives you an idea on how some of the mechanics of everything work and whatnot. And you can see the little gears on the side here, kind of turning around uh, as the uh, feet move. And there you go. We've got it kind of going backwards. Uh, banjo, <laughs> yeah, banjo's got it kind of moonwalking there, where it's staying in place but still kind of doing the steps. Uh, and oh. something else to notice on this is they gave us uh, some extra cards here. And uh, when we look at the instructions here, if you want, you can actually change the design of the, uh, of the little claws here and uh, design it out so it looks a little bit different. All you have to do is make sure to uh, match these up and keep the holes that are already punched into them uh, still available so that you can plug them in on here course we've got the bigger one here that would plug in for the actual arms and then you've got these longer ones here that would go for the piece down here but you could make them look more snakeish like uh, uh, instead of instead of poles they would be more like uh, you know loose wires or something or you could have on here it shows the the claws being a, a little drill or something like that so of course you can change that out and uh, customize it to the way that you like to have it you could have one on one and keep one of the originals or uh, you know completely design your own now one other thing to mention with this too is uh, when we first tried to start it up it wasn't really walking very well and that's because some of these pieces are uh, were a little bit tight when we put them on there and uh, in doing that it didn't give it enough um, enough freedom of movement so make sure you consider that when you're putting it together if you can't get it to move just loosen up those pieces just a little bit they are just those little foam gears and that will of course help you out with uh, uh, letting everything kind of move freely and everything. But uh, I think I think this is going to go ahead and wrap it up for us today, guys. Um, this is kind of a, a fun little project for for us to do, and uh, you know, Banjo Banjo liked it. He he saw it and kind of knew what was going on already. He's seen stuff like this before and could figure it out pretty quickly. This is a pretty neat project. Kind of kind of cool. Didn't take us real long to do it. Uh, so it wasn't super involved, but it's something to, to play with, uh, especially for uh, some of the younger kids. Once you get it going, they can sit there and let it walk across the kitchen floor or the countertops or tables or whatever. And uh, you, know, you make a whole course for it, huh? Well, it doesn't turn, though. That's the only thing. No, but you put it in, like, little walls so it turns itself. Oh, well, there you go. There's an idea. You could sit there, and kind of like the, the Hot Wheels cars. Yeah. Yeah. Like the Hot Wheels cars, so you could kind of maybe do something like that if you wanted to try. That's a pretty good idea there from Banjo. All right, guys. Well, my name's Cougar, and of course, this is my buddy Banjo. Uh, this was one of the Tinker Crates, one of the lines from Kiwi Crate. And uh, if you guys want to check those out, that's down there in the description below. There'll be a link to that as well as a link to our social media outlets. And on your way down or on your way back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button lets us know that you enjoyed the content and would like to see more and uh, also there's going to be a little icon floating around it'll be over there somewhere or of course you can go down below those are both for subscribing and don't forget to hit that bell icon and get that set up so that you're notified of when we've got new videos coming out here on world of me with the tinker crate or any of the other lines that we've got going on all right guys well that's going to do it for uh, me and banjo today and, uh, you know, that's another episode here of A Kiwi's Tinker Crate. You know, stay tuned for the next episode. And uh, I will see you guys later. And have a good day. Bye.